Hello there, Bobcats. Mr. Brown here again. Today, we are going to try to color online. Now, it's not the best, but hopefully with a little practice, it can be something that we can do when we're at home and we have a listening glyph or something like that to do. All right. The first thing I want to say is if you have any questions, this video is going to be posted so you can just go back. If you miss a spot, like, okay, where did he go? Just click back in the video timeline and see what I said. All right. So the first thing you need to do is go open it. I put it as an assignment in classwork under Google Classroom. All right. So I am there right now. So this is my Google Classroom. Right now I have Mrs. Huter from Conewago up. But whoever it is, for whatever grade, you're going to go up here to classwork, click it. And then you're going to find the assignment. Right now it is called Dance Macabre Listening Glyph. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to drop down. It shows you that there's no due date. This is just something for fun that we're going to do. And what you want to do is click on the glyph right here, this little picture, and it's going to pop open. Hopefully what will happen is you'll have this open, and I'll start playing the song, and you'll look and say, okay, the spots. If it's loud, you're going to color all the little spots yellow. If it's soft, you're going to cover it black. If it's both, you can color it orange. Well, most of you probably know how a glyph works. But I want to show you how we're going to do it in Google Draw. First thing, up here at the top, it says name of song and student name. You don't have to worry about that. But if you're one of those people that want to make sure everything's done, you want to come up here to a text box, the little T in the square. Click that and click somewhere near it and type in the name of the song if you want. I can remember how to dance and I can shrink that if I need to, but you're probably going to have to move it. If you're like me and you like everything just where it should be and then click off and then there it is. All right. And same thing over here. You can do that with your name if you want. Now, to color, this is the tricky part. First thing we want to do, though, is make it a little bigger. All right. That's way too small. So come up here to view or the plus sign. Right now, you can see it's at 66%. Let's make it 100. Mm, if you want to go in a little bit more, we can go 200. And then I can just use scroll up and down to find it. All right. So let's color. Uh, let's do the eyes. So let's say I liked it in blue. First thing you need to do is come up here and click on the line. And we're going to click the down arrow. And we're going to pick scribble. And that lets us just draw wherever we want. Just like that, like we're coloring. But I'm going to get rid of that because we need to do some things. Now, if you noticed... That little squiggle, well, it wasn't the right color, and it it's just too small. When I did draw it, though, notice up here that there's no tools for it. The first thing we have to do is make a line. Once we make a little test line, then we can pick the color of it. I'm going to pick a nice blue. And these little lines, the line weight, are how thick it is. I'm going to go with, let's try an eight point. And then you can see what size it is. All right. And there's other things you can do. You can make it dash, but we're not going to do that. We're going to color. So the way I'm going to do it is just drag a little bit and it's going to fill in. It's not perfect, but you can see with some time, you could probably do a pretty good job. And I'm just using little ones. Okay. You can also change the color and make it bigger. If you make a mistake, let's say, ah, I made a mistake. All right, don't freak out. Just come up here to the corner. You'll see a little arrow going back. It says undo. You click that, and it goes away. And every time you click that, it takes something away. So you can sort of backtrack in time and undo it. Same thing, you can go forward, redo, up until you need to. Oh, we don't want that one, so we'll go back. All right. Now, if you wanted to save this and make a copy for some reason, you can come over to File, make a copy, and that'll make a copy of the coloring on your Google Drive. I'm not sure if you guys have one or not, but that's how you do it real quick. Let's say the skin, 
I'll do a little bit more. I want it to be orange. Oops, I changed that one. So we got to do one and then change it. So I'm going to make a long blue one. And then I'll make it orange. And then we can start doing some more coloring. And then you can change the line size too. If I want to do really big, all right, like that. Or if I want to do really small, just change the line size to get along like the edges. Like that. Okay, hope you enjoy it. I know it's not the best, but we're going to try to make it work. All right, thanks, guys. Let me find out how to stop this.